Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, we start off by saying, uh, when I pray to y'all, bless me, I will shout, wah, wah, Peace and uh, bless to you, brothers out there, preaching for us, sincerity and truth, the blindness of the elders ever well. This is Sayanala uh, with the uh, GMS Dallas Camp. It's coming back with you with another lesson. Um, as you can see, what I have pulled up, hot topic of the, uh, of the, of the month is just niggas, man. You know, it's just very, very, very vexing, man, having to see Jake continue to follow on the path of the way of the heathen. So, you know, you have this movie, Black Panther, that came out. Um, and as you can read, African fans are embracing Black Panther's Afro-futuristic fantasy of Africa, man. And you got niggas, you got niggas just going crazy over, 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 uh... This movie, man, as if it's a real movie, man, as if it's about a real characters, man. You know, it's fake. It's just a movie about a comic book. But you see, Jake, Israelites, who come from a, a beautiful, beautiful heritage, a beautiful, beautiful history, continue to follow after the customs of the heathen, man. To continue to follow after ways of what their slave owners have taught them. And refuse to repent and refuse to acknowledge the fact that they come from a uh, true royalty, man. Because uh, the Hamites ain't got it, man. I don't know if, if, if uh, y'all haven't uh, followed the news at all, man. Hamites ain't got it, man. You know? What's promised to us? Uh, we promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's what was, what was, what's popping right now, man. We want that, man. We want true dominion, man. Not no fake BS, man. No fake crap, man. So I just want to do a quick lesson on how Jake continues to go and follow the way of the heathen because that's not nothing new, man. Now people. Go off, they get dragged into captivity, and 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 we have to be reprimanded by the Most High violently, man. I apologize, man. I mean, right now I'm recording this in, in Cali, man. A lot of distractions in the shitty ass hotel. So, Lord willing through the Spirit, this is edifying, man. I'm just gonna read a couple scripts, scriptures, kind of going into that. Uh, how Jake throughout time just keeps going off, man. You know, we don't even have to look at, at uh, our time here in uh, in Babylon the Great. In this mystery Babylon, it happened in, uh, in the previous kingdoms, man. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to go to uh, 2 Kings uh, chapter 17. Let me pull up here. I'm going to start at verse, I can just start at verse 5. And I'm the low one, you know, through the spirit. I don't, I'm not too long winded. Um, um, but, you know, uh, through the spirit, hopefully this is edifying. This is Second Kings chapter seventeen, verse five. It says, "Then the king of Assyria came up throughout all the land and went up to Samaria and besieged it in three years. And in the ninth year of uh, Hose uh, uh, Hosea, the king of Assyria took Samaria and carried Israel away into Assyria." Okay, and placed them in Halal and in the har uh, harbor by the river of Gozan and in the cities of the Medes. For so it was that the children of Israel had sinned against Yahweh and Yahusha, the Lord their God, which had brought them up out of the land of Egypt from under the hand of the Pharaoh king of Egypt and had feared other gods. So again, you see how. Jake, go through two more days and start going off, man. Going off, man. Forgetting about the 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 the, 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 the true heritage and the true power uh, uh, of the universe, man. And walk in the statues of the heathen, whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel and from the kings of Israel, which they had made. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against Yahweh and Yahushua. And they built them high places in all their cities, from the tower of the uh, of the watchmen to the fenced cities. And they set them up, images and groves in every high hill and under every tree. And as you see now, man, with all these damn churches, man, 
all these damn festivals, all these damn, uh, all these things that they do in celebration of heathen customs, man. So you got this movie, Black Panther. You got niggas going crazy, man. Dressing up like a damn, damn Hamite. Acting as if they worship all the gods of Ham, man. Thinking they cute, man. That's why the Most High is going to kill a lot of you niggas, man. Because you ain't right, man. Okay? Back to verse 10. It says, And, and then they set up images and groves in every high hill and, and uh, under every green tree. And there they burn incense in all the high places, as did the heathen whom the Lord carried away from them, and wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger. And that's why you continue to see Jake getting shot up, Jake getting persecuted, Jake getting um, uh, done all types of manner of ways because they continue to follow after the customs of those who don't seek good for them, man. They continue to follow the customs of, of the wicked. Okay? So they're going to get judged for that, man. Okay? Let's sit on that, man. I'm going to move on. I'm going to jump over to uh, 2 Maccabees, the fourth chapter, which is a very, very popular chapter, man. Um, Because it really just highlights how wicked Jake was, man. Uh, I'm gonna jump to uh, Second Maccabees four. Uh, where do I want to start? Uh, I started this. Uh, it says, but after the death of uh, Seleucus, when Antiochus called Epiphanes took the kingdom, Jason, the brother of Onias, labored uh, underhand to be high priest. Okay, so you, 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 of course you got Antiochus is a damn Edomite, you know, in power, man, and Jake seeking to have uh, positions of power, looking to appease that the oppressive. Verse 8, promising unto the king by intercession 303 square talents of silver and another uh, revenue, eight, uh, 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 80 talents, damn sellout. Besides this, he promised to assign 150 more if he might have license to set up a place of exercise. So, you know, <laughs> you know, he was willing to do even more if he, as long as he get a place to make a little side money, man. And for the training of youth in the fashions of the heathen. So he was looking forward to making Jake go off. And to write them um, of Jerusalem by the name of Antiochus, man. So he was looking to call Jake. Just like you got these niggas, man. They, they learn all these different cultures. And they know it better than the, 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 the people of the actual culture, man. Jake become a Muslim because be Arabic better than a goddamn Arab. But the, 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 the true knowledge of who or where they come from, they don't know nothing, man. And they don't want to know nothing. That's why those guys, they got to be wiped out, killed. Which then the king had granted, and he had gotten into the hand, the rule uh, he forthwith brought to his own nation to Greekish fashion. And the royal privileges granted of special favor to the Jews by the means of John, the father of uh, uh, you. Uh, Polymus, who went who went ambassador to Rome for amnesty and aid, he took away and putting down the governments which were according to the law, he brought up new customs against the law. And that's what you're seeing with our people now, man. This is nothing new, man. Jake continues to do this. That's why the Lord is only looking for a remnant of our people to come unto remembrance of who they were. Um, because our people ain't gonna wake up, man. Most of us, the two thirds of our people ain't gonna wake up. They're gonna die. They're gonna be destroyed because they can't let go of these wicked customs, man. They can't let it go. Can't let it go, man. So they gotta be done away with, man. Done away with. And it's continued to happen to our people time and time and time and time again throughout the history of the planet. 
And the Lord is not, not happy with that. That's why the Lord is going to destroy two thirds of our people. This is a, a Ezekiel 39, uh, 28. We started 28. Well, I started 22. Um, I started 23 now. Uh, Ezekiel 39 and 23. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity, because they trespassed against me. Therefore I hid my eye my face from them, and gave them unto the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. So, I mean, that's seeing an example that the Lord gave, gave Israel over to the heathen, because we keep going off, man. According to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions have I done unto them and hid my face from them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel, Israel and will be jealous for my whole name. So eventually, man, the, that remnant is going to um, wake up and that's what you're seeing going, across, uh, going on across the four corners of the earth. Jake is waking up to the truth. But you're still going to have a multitude of our people who are trapped in this. This is what they glory in, man. Nonsense. Nonsense. And these are a bunch of sellout niggas, man. Most of these uh, people in the picture are damn sodomites, man. They're damn faggots. Who don't give a shit about you, man? But they're going to act like this is their culture, man. It's a fucking comic book. It's a fucking made-up dumb shit. It's a fucking Marvel movie. Now I mean I go watch it because it's entertaining. But it's not that's not it's not real, man. That's not where you come from, man. We are more, more kinda <laughs> Jake man. Jake is stupid, man. That's why y'all gotta be put to death. And that's a good thing for you, man, because you can't you niggas can't multiply. Y'all gotta die. Y'all gotta die. Okay. This is for you, for those who hate the Old Testament, let's go to the New Testament. Okay. It's Acts chapter 16, verse, uh, we're almost started. No, it's not 16. Acts 16 is 16. And it came to pass as, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of uh, div uh, divination met, met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us in Christ, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High uh, God, which show unto us the way of salvation. So, you had a damsel that was a, uh, had a demon on her, man. Uh, was Jake had put that on her. It makes money. But then in who the, the, the apostles were in the midst, and they, they called out to him. Okay? And this did she, uh, and this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to to the spirit, "I command thee in the name of Yahweh Yahushah to come out of her." And he, and he came out of the same hour. So the demon came out of, uh, of of the damsel. Okay. And when her master saw that the hope. Of their gains was gone, so they can't make no money off of them no more. They caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace, into the rulers, and brought them to the magistrates, saying, "These men, being Jews, do it simply trouble our city." So they uh, talk shit and snitched on them because they were preaching the truth, man. And do a mighty works in the name of Yahbashim Yahushah just to push their agenda of wickedness, man. And that's what you're seeing today, man. Just like niggas like Yakko Wacko and all that, man. They, they follow Satan. They believe in the devil. You know? Okay? Verse 29. Verse 21. It's lucky. And, and then he said, they teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive. Neither do observe being Romans. So they wanted Jake to, 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 to follow in the ways of the Romans, man. They want to forsake you. How about you? Follow in the way of the Romans, man. 
And that's what we're seeing today, man. Anytime, you know, you try to talk to chick about, about, uh, how uh, great they are and how they chosen, they want to bring up what about the white man? Ooh, 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 man. We can love you. And that's why Jake gotta die, man. But just like I was saying, man, you there's only gonna be a remnant of our people who wake up, wake back up to who they really are and really cling to the truth. Okay? It's only gonna be a remnant, man. I got just a few more and I'm gonna get out of here, man. Um cause this 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 the whole black pepper. This shit was vexing, man. This is Jeremiah chapter fifty, verse sixteen, it says uh, cut off the sword from Babylon and him that handleth the sickle in the time of harvest. For fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn everyone to his people and they shall flee everyone to his own land. Israel is a scattered sheep. The lions have driven him away. First, the king of Assyria had devoured him. I just read about that. And last, this Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, hath broken his bones. Therefore said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will punish the king of Babylon and his land, as I have punished the king of Assyria. I will bring Israel again to his habitation, and he shall be on Carmel and Bashan, and his soul shall be satisfied upon the Mount of Ephraim and Gilead. In those days and in that time, says the Lord, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none, and the sins of Judah, and they shall not be found, for I will pardon them whom um, I reserve. And that's what we're waiting on, man. We're waiting on the Lord to redeem, redeem us, man, from, from all this iniquity, man, because it seems like we're trying to get uh, away from these devils and the more we try to get away the more offended they get man and the more our people try to fight against it and, and the harder Esau um, comes comes down on us but hey that was prophesied that's why we need Yahabashim Yahashah to come defend us man and, 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 and wipe away our sins and redeem us this is John chapter 14 verse 26 it says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. And that's only going to happen to a chosen few, man. Everybody else is going to wallow in iniquity and sin and, and, and not repent. But the elect, he's going to teach them all things and bring remembrance of who we were, man. Whatsoever I have said unto you, uh, whatever, uh, whatsoever I have said unto you, okay? Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And that's why we boldly stand up and preach against uh, America and preach against the things that are taught in America because we believe in the power of Yahweh Shah, man. We don't believe in this crap. We don't believe in this crap, man. You know? Niggas dressing in dashikis and acting like a damn boom, man. Boy, it's so stupid, man. People are just fucking I'm so tired of fucking niggas, man. Can't wait till the Lord kill you, niggas, man. This is Ephesians chapter two, verse eleven and twelve. One of my favorites. Ephesians chapter 2 and 11. Wherefore remember that ye being in past times Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh are made by hands. So we remember that, oh, you know, damn, you know, yeah, we came over in captivity. We learned the ways of the heathens. Now it's time to wake up out of that, man, but to who we really are. Verse 12, that at times ye were without Yahweh Shai, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise. So that was going to happen to us. We were going to fall away. 
having no hope and without Yahweh uh, in the world. But now in, in Yahweh, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Yahweh. So now we're waking up to who we are. We're not clinging into the madness, man. We're not clinging into the way the heathen. We're coming back to our nationality. We're coming back to our royalty. We're coming back to our heritage and clinging unto Yahweh and Yahweh and following in that way, man. Okay? But like I said, it was only going to be a chosen few that do that. Everybody else is going to think they got damn Black Panthers and Avengers and all this dumb shit, man. Okay? Now, this is Jude 1 and 5. Jude 1 and 5. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this. You, so we fell away. We once knew this. We once was in the faith. But well, now we have to be brought back into remembrance to this. How that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, talking about the Israelites, afterward destroyed them that believed not. Which that, that happened continual throughout history. And that um, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he had observed the everlasting chains of the darkness into the judgment of that great day. Okay? Which we can read down. It's going to talk about how, you know, you have people just you know, they happen to get fucked up, man, because they don't want to. They want to come back to who they were, man. Okay, or they just sellouts. You know, a lot of people know the truth and they just sellouts, man. They too scared to to, to battle um, the the ways of this world. Um, I'm gonna end it on this one, man. Um, this is Second Peter three one and two. In this epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both, which I stir up your your minds by way of remembrance. So these scriptures, what they are meant to do is to to bring us into remembrance of who we are, and that's what you're seeing happening all across the four comes of the earth. Jake is reading scriptures in the spirit of Yahbashim Yahusha, the comforter is coming unto them, and they're remembering who they were, and they're getting emboldened by it, man. To, to be moved to go and teach and preach okay that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us the apostles of the Lord the of the, the Lord and Savior man Yahweh Shah man Okay, so we're going to be reminded by the prophets and then motivated um, and, and then motivated to, 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 to go teach and preach and do this do these works, man. And we're not going to fall into the traps of the so-called white man and into the traps of the two thirds that don't want to get right, man, of just being African, man, or whatever it is, man. We're Israelites. And the Lord, the, uh, the Lord who wore ignorantly called Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh in Hebrew, he's coming back and he was going to redeem a, a remnant of those Israelites who come back into the remembrance of who they are and, and follow him through faith uh, and sincerity uh, and his truth. And with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Okay? Uh, double arms to the elders of the well. Peace and blessings to your brothers. Peace and the words of the city and truth. Peace and shalom.